take you through generations of food, family, and fun in their new book, Don't Fill Up on the Antipasto. Please welcome Tony and Mark Danza. You know, uh, Whoopi knows my son from mm. uh, many years ago. And uh, in fact, that's the night I think I introduced you to Nancy Reagan. Isn't that the yes, night? Yes, yes, I think that was the night. She didn't crack a smile. No, no. In fact, the Secret Service guy went, You sure she's with you? <laughs> oh, I'm kidding, it's the truth. How are you, Joy? Good, how are you? Uh, Don't we miss Tony? Uh, we miss Tony. <laughs> you, you want him on the air again? Yes. Yeah, well, you, just, you miss the joy of sex. I used to do the joy of sex on his show. It was quite, <laughs> yeah. I used to give advice on sex. Yes, yeah, well, so Tony, Whoopi is trying to give the food. I yes, just want okay. to how did you, what did you, how did you get this book with the title? Don't the title, Don't Fill Up on the Antipasto. It's all sayings that uh, my father and uh, our family said. Don't fill up on the Antipasto. You know, when you're an Amer Italian-American yes. family, Thanksgiving comes, you have to have a whole Italian dinner yes. first. Right. Antipasto, yes. lasagna, yes. the meat. Yes. And then they bring out the turkey. Right? So the first thing they say to you is, don't, don't fill up on the antipasto. You got to eat the turkey. So that's okay. it. Originally, the title was supposed to be uh, Father and Son Cooking, yeah. Keeping Family Traditions Alive, no. or gee, I, I hate, hate to waste a good salad. <laughs> but um, they wouldn't put it on the oven long. long. So. so you didn't even want to work with your father, Mark. Were you kind of No, I was, you know what, I was a little apprehensive. I, I wanted to work with him. I just didn't know how it was going to go exactly. <laughs> but it looks that's like it went well. <laughs> what is the holiday antipasto? We got to start with that. Whoopi it looks is like, like I, and, okay. and I'm looking well, at the antipasto, really, it's basically, and I think people know, it's, it's basically a, con a, con a conglomeration of everything you have in the refrigerator. Can we take one? You can have, olives? sure, yeah, there's olives, there's this? cheese. That, that's that's cabagol, that's the hot that's ham. It looks like turkey, turkey, but I don't know for sure. That's salami. salami. Uh, uh, no, that's not what the day is. It's all for salad, yeah. I'm gonna try But you have olives, you have artichoke hearts, you have tomatoes, and a little bit of lettuce, and you know, you just put it all together. And a little bit of olive oil, olive oil, and uh, yeah. Olive oil and vinegar, what? and you go in the yeah. corner. Right. This, uh, this kind of looks real. like those, those, are not the, those are not the sardines I use, yeah, but the style, not. yeah. We want those little, the, the ones with the and little the ha hairy oh, ones. Okay. Yeah. 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 Little hairy ones. Keep on going. But <laughs> you guys, you actually, you, I know we always discuss most important family matters over the meal in our Italian yeah. household. So, Mark, you actually told your dad he was going to be a grandpa over a meal, right? That's right. Well, I was on his show, and I, um, I was cooking. Hey, I got a This is a great angle. <laughs> No. This is lasagna. This is lasagna. My mother's lasagna. Now, that, lasagna. My mother's lasagna is, is, the, is the famous mission. You know, my, my mother only cooked twice a year. Mm -hmm. My father did all the cooking in the house. That's why I cook, because I used to watch my oh, father. Right. And that's why he good. cooks, because he used to watch his father. But hey, you know what the secret to a great lasagna is? There what? is a what? secret. There's one secret. What? One what? secret. Can you, you can't use chopped meat. You have to use the, you have to make meatballs first. Yes. Oh. And then you crush the meatballs up. That's right. And okay. use them Put as them the chopped meat. Sausage. Right. Otherwise, yeah. it's like hamburger. Otherwise, you got a hamburger with lime. My mother made it with sausage. You take the case off. You can do that. Yeah, I mean, you can do that as well. There's no sausage in this particular. See, I always make little tiny meatballs. You make tiny meatballs. Tiny meatballs with raisins in them. No, why not? Some people make them. Yeah, some people make them. For the kids. I think it's so like. You gotta fry them first, right? Yeah, of course. But but you know what else we do? Our meatballs. We roll our meatballs in flour. After we make them, we roll them in flour. Really? Yes. And then when you fry them in the oil and the garlic and oil, it sort of like caramelizes. You gotta see it. It makes a yeah, terrific. So real, very good. Yeah, this is a Sicilian pizza. pizza right here. Grandma, great grandma, actually, great grandma great Sicilian grandma. pizza. Deep dish, you know. Uh, it's like a uh, national holiday when she used to do. I'm like this. Oh, sorry. Mind you, mind you, mind you. Mind you, mind you, mind you. Am I supposed to eat you know, this leaf too? By the way, yes. Yes. Yeah, that's for you. It's for you. It's for you. This is great, huh? Oh, I'm at Feinstein's in uh, the oh, end of uh, June 3rd. I opened yeah. at Feinstein's. He's at Feinstein's. Yeah, He's at the Regency Bravo. Hotel. Tony sings and, and dances. And then we're going to be with uh, Don Rickles down in uh, Westbury, or whatever they call it oh, now. I like Don Rickles at Westbury. And you got another I'm the next night. night. I'm the next, the next night. You're friends. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. You got a stage yeah. show called I Could Have Danced All Night. That's what yeah. the show is, yeah. 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 Well, yeah, now it's called uh, I Used to Could Have Danced All Night. I used to Could Have Danced All Night. I'll just tell y'all something. This is the craziest segment I've ever seen. 
This but, is but the least, greatest no. pizza. I have to tell you, this, have whatever is in That's it, really good. it's yeah, magnificent. It's ma and I feel bad, because y'all should be eating this. I know. The thing about the book. The thing, the thing about the book is, uh, it's also uh, like a memoir to, uh, of our family. Of uh, lots of great stories. Yeah, you know, like Uncle Vinny's clam lesson, or there's a there's a story about uh, when I was ten, ran away from home and chose the wrong uncle's house to go to. You know, that was bad. What's the cheesecake? Mark, wait, 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 what kind of daddy is he? Tell us about your father. Tell oh, us. I mean, Tell he's us. you know he's a performer at heart. So even mm -hmm. when he cooked, uh, it was a lot of singing, a lot of dancing yeah. while he yeah. cooked, yeah. and uh, <laughs> the food was always awesome. And he's just okay. he's all of you, that you're an, a, a man with a baby. Do you, do you see amazing. yourself and how he is a dad? Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm watching him now. You know, with his son, with his son Nicky. You know, yeah. I watch him with his son. It's incredible. And he looks like you know, he looks oh like he God, looked when he was a kid. Right. Oh yeah, he's. Oh, wait, Tony. Picture. There he is, Nicky Macaroni. Oh, yeah. There he is. Oh, is it ricotta cheesecake? Oh, My Aunt Rose's ricotta cheesecake. Oh. oh my goodness, don't fill up on the Anapasta.